now we have a very, very special guest, one of my really good friends, Norman Hallett. And I'd like to just do a little quick intro about Norman, and hopefully some of you here are very familiar with Norman Hallett. Uh, you know, one thing that I could tell you, uh, being a professional trader myself, I've been doing this for many, many years at CyberTrain University. Um, I've trained so many students, tens if not hundreds of thousands of people that I've done presentations and speakings and trained over the years, been doing this for 20 years. And I think one of the hardest things to teach, hardest things to teach, is discipline. That is one of the hardest things, and it all goes to getting the right person, the right coach to talk about that. You know, there are some great traders, even like here at CyberTrain University. We have some of the top instructors that teach you. We have some great speakers here that will teach you how to trade. But one thing that is so hard to teach is the discipline. You know, we could teach you the diet. But if you keep going to McDonald's, it's just not going to work. You know, so you need someone that needs to be there and coach you through it. And, you know, and that's why I wanted Norman here today, because I know Norman for such a long time, but not even just knowing him on a personal level, I only hear great things about him. I hear great things from uh, other students that, you know, have, t have learned from him, have gone through his coaching, um, because once again, I only can only help with so much discipline in myself, and even myself I've learned discipline. What you learn in discipline is, you know, how to control losses. I think that's what it is. How to make sure you can, you know, being there and knowing when to get in, when to get out when you should. Uh, not taking things personal. So, uh, and that's why I wanted to be here today to speak to, to speak to all of you. So, once again, uh, don't want to take too much time away from him. I know we were running a little behind with, with Boris, but I want to give the stage to Norman. Uh, Norman's going to talk about, oh, about 45 minutes. And then uh, right after that, we will have another very good friend of mine who will be Tom Busby. So with that, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, Norman, the stage is all yours. Thank you, Fausto. Fausto has more friends than anybody. Register in, today in, at www.cybertradinguniversity.com or me, call 877-70-CYBER. Um, I, I don't know about these other guys, but... Uh, I do know I want to be a friend of Boris's after that presentation. He had some really good stuff there. Uh, I checked in about a half hour early. Very interesting. Listen, I just wanted to, I want to stop and see. We, we did our 100th uh, four-minute drill for traders. It's kind of a four-minute thing that we mail to people on our list. It's four minutes of motivation, really, and uh, bringing out one particular point about uh, motivation as a trader, some of the things you may be doing right or wrong, but we limit it to four minutes every week. We came out with the number 100 four-minute drill for traders. We did something special. Did anybody see it? I, I just wanted to know if anybody's actually, it was outstanding according to Stanley. Um, Pip saw it and yeah, we, <laughs> we worked hard on it. We had, Alan, you got to see it. Uh, if you um, actually, if you uh, just go to thedisciplinedtrader.com, thedisciplinedtrader.com. You know, I'm not telling anything today, so uh, just relax. We're just going to uh, uh, you're going to leave this discussion today with a plan of attack on how to be a consistent um, professional trader. And I say professional because whether you're part time or full time, you got to think like a professional consistently successful professional trend. That's what you're going to leave with here after 45 minutes, your own roadmap. But when this is all over and, uh, and you, you leave the, uh, all of the discussions today, because you really should stick with Fausto's material here. He worked hard on putting together a great crew uh, of presenters. Uh, check out uh, thedisciplinetrader.com and, and click on, uh, you'll see uh, four-minute drills someplace in one of those drop-down menus. And if you can check out um, the 100th four-minute drill where, I, where I'm actually interviewing uh, Barack Obama and Donald Trump. So uh, I think you're, Fausto, if you haven't seen it, you, you got to check that out. Anyway, let's get to today's presentation. You're going to need uh, two or three pieces of paper to, um, uh, to, to really do this right. So this is going to be kind of a little workshop. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm, I'm huge on uh, on mentors. I'm huge on having somebody to be 
not responsible to, but accountable to. I, I think you want to make your own goals and you want to, uh, you, you want to create your own world. But somehow life can take you off focus. And if you can, if you can get somebody that you trust and that cares about you to be, be accountable to, it really helps you to stay focused and on track, move away from the things that are unimportant and focus on the things that are important. And I know to me, uh, trading is very important. And one of the people that I see, uh, I, go, I fly up to Toronto every quarter and I visit with um, a gentleman named uh, Dan Sullivan. He runs Strategic Coach. He's extremely expensive. He is the, probably the world's preeminent uh, he is the world's preeminent entrepreneurial coach, and so I take entrepreneurial coaching from him uh, once, uh, one day every quarter. And what I'm about to show you is a reworking of a process that Dan gave to me that I've twisted and turned and, and made it applicable to us, uh, to we as traders, or is it us as traders? To us, because it comes after the two. Any English teachers out there? Okay, let's uh, let's get into it. And again, you're going to leave today with a roadmap to your own personal trading success. Um, and again, we're gonna, this is a you're going to need three or four blank sheets of paper. Uh, there are no right or wrong answers to this. So when I ask you to do something or list a few things that are relevant to the exercise. Uh, there are no right or wrong answers here. Uh, let me ask you, is it important to anybody? W would it be exciting for, for everybody to leave with a plan of attack, a specific plan of attack to get you quickly to, a, uh, to, to be a consistently profitable trader? Okay, as long as I know you're interested. Uh, it, it, and again, because we're, you're working, we're all going to work on this separately at our desk right here, and I'm going to give you 60 seconds at a time to write in certain things. The, the, nobody's going to, no two people are going to leave with the same plan of attack. Okay? So it's going to be unique to you. And as you practice this process, you're going to get better and better at it. Because the process that we're going to go through now is you can use it for just about anything in your life. But today we're going to use it to become the, uh, a very, uh, uh, not not only disciplined, but a successful uh, long-term trader, and with the profit involved. All right, here is the first view that I want to give you of the process. So this is your first piece of paper, um, portrait-wise. The other is landscape when you hold it sideways. So you're, you've got your first piece of paper. Um, north to south is the length, long length of the paper. So right at the top, statement of goal, and that green band over there, that's really for you to write in your statement of goal. And although each of us are going to have a unique result here, I do want to all have a similar question. And you can write it in your own way, but something, um, the statement of goal is to be the, uh, a successful long-term Forex trader, a successful long-term uh, stock trader. And I, uh, I like to tail my goals with something that hooks them into uh, something that makes it um, very inspiring to me. So for, so me, for, for me, if I were writing this goal, I would be saying something like, um, be the long-term successful and profitable trader so that I can remain independent and, and, and make my own calls in life, something like that, or take care of my family. Or, you know, I, I like to hook in, uh, when I get a small area like this that, that I, I'm not going to be embellishing the goal, I like to make sure that I hook in something that really makes the goal come alive for me. I mean, I, I want my independence. Uh, you know, I, I like to walk to the beat of, of my own drummer, and I, I, I want to be financially secure. I want to take care of my family. I want to have time to travel and the money to travel. These are the things that are important to me. I love traveling and, and seeing the world and, 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 and really I try to spread m my own version of joy wherever I go. And so whatever you're into, throw it in, throw it in there. Okay. Now we all have our statement of goal. Now, the next thing that you need to do in this exercise is write in today's date because your mind, when it sets a goal and, and, and 
concentrates on a process, you need a starting point. You need a, a place to spring from. This is almost as important a step as stating the goal in and of itself. You, in this process that I'm giving you here, you don't want to leave out any steps. So go ahead and draw that line in the sand that you're going to make this statement of goal yours. You're going to make it come true. And you're drawing the line in the sand today. So put in today's date. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put in a target date. Now remember, you know, I don't know where you are. You may be right at the cusp of being, you've got a great trading plan, a great trading system, and uh, that's within the plan you've got some great rules in your plan. Uh, you've, you've worked it, you've had, um, you, 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 remain, you have a little bit of struggle, you need a little tweaking, but you're kind of right there and you really believe that you have a lot together. Well, in order to make this goal come true, maybe your target date should be 30 or 60 days out. For somebody who may need more work or uh, is just beginning trading, doesn't have a trading plan or whatever, those are steps that you're going to have to take to get to be the, to your goal. So why don't you put a goal of four months or five months? There are no, the, the expression is, and it's on the next slide, but I'm not going to show it to you quite yet. The, the expression is, there are no um, there are no wrong targets, only, well, we're going to see the, <laughs> why I can never get this particular expression. In any event, in, as far as this target is concerned, let, give yourself time, but put yourself on the line. I guess that, that's the way I want to say it. If you, you, you want to give yourself, you want to give yourself a reasonable time to do this, but the shortest term end of reasonable. Okay, I mean, if you put tomorrow, it's not going to get done. If you put a year from now, you're going to be lazy. It's going to be like a term paper in college where you don't do anything till the last night. So put in a, a, a target date. That This is important. That's why I'm, I'm lingering here, uh, to, to put, put that target date that's going to motivate you and you know you can get it done if you focus. Look, think about a time. I, I, I do this with my tax. Every time that my quarterly taxes come up, I have to give my accountant um, you know, the, my statements, my, my bank statements, and uh, my credit card statements, and I mock them up and so on. And it seems like such a long, time-consuming thing to me. In my head, it's a, it's, it's, it's a resistance to me. Anytime I have, somehow, I just don't. And, and what I do is I leave it till the last minute. But when I do it, and when I focus on it, it only takes me about an hour to do. And I say to myself, why do I keep putting myself through this when, I, when it's only a, an it takes me an hour. Why do I, I concern myself with it for 200 hours, and then when I do it, uh, it it's a, it's a non-event. Generally, focus. It, when you think about when you focus on something, how quickly you can get things done. And then, because you're human, maybe double that time and throw that in as your target date. All right, let's get to the next step. Results of achieving your goal. Now, when you become the disciplined, consistent, profitable trader that you seek to be and that you, that's right in your hand right now. What are the results of achieving that goal? And when you, when you write these results, I'm not, I don't want you to sit here and project a vision of what the, that goal is. I want you to project yourself out there already and say what's happening now for you. So um, a result of achieving a goal, I'm now uh, totally independent and I, I run to the call of my own drummer, okay? Uh, I, am, I am financially set and I know that I'm building, I'm now in, uh, I've completed the first step of building a legacy for my family, a financial legacy. Uh, three, I'm financially independent and can um, and, and take care of my family. So uh, sleep well at night. I see a number of people adding to that. So here is this this is the motivation for making this happen. When you slip up and you and you you forget, you forget to read over the statement of goal for one one day next week or Monday, you forgot where you put it, and you finally pick it up. You want to read. The mo what, what, why you're doing this. You want to have that in front of you. So let's take a f just about two minutes and list at least, I, I, th th this screen shows five, you really want at least six to eight results of achieving your goal. What, what, what are you going to get for this? This is important. So let's take a few minutes to do it. And if you want to throw your 
uh, throw a comment in the chat to kind of help spur others along that may be having a little trouble digging deep because it's so early in the morning on Saturday. Now it's 12 o'clock. That's still early for some. You're on the West Coast. You're it's uh, it's nine in the morning. So uh, go ahead and and go ahead and and let's list. I guess it's 10 in the morning, but let's let's go ahead and list some of those things. Now, uh, thank you, Pip. There are no reasonable goals, just unreasonable deadlines. Oh, thank you, Pip. Save me again. All right. Uh, so go ahead and write in those goals. And I, I used to sing during this period of time when I did this presentation, but I, I don't anymore. I'm just going to leave it, leave it a little bit silent. I'm going to grunt every once in a while, every ten seconds, just to make. Brenda wants me to sing. All right, I'll do it once. I'll, I'll just sing the background to the Late Show, the Late Late Show. You ready? Ready, Brenda? Okay. Right, Stanley. Please stop. All right, that's, that's all I need. One Earl throwing cold water on it. All right, Earl. All right, you have your goal. You have your. Why don't we share a few of them? So, what do we have here? I'm dating yourself. Yes, I am dating myself. It's all good if you're profitable. It is. Make money doing something I love. No reasonable goals. We know that. Thank you. Pip did that a couple of times for me. Much. Okay. Become a confident trader with more profit than loss within six months. Excellent. Okay. Let's let's go on. All right. On the next sheet of paper and. Um, well, let's read the clarifications. The more clear and specific your goals are, the better. We know that. We've been told that a million times, so I'm not going to harp on that. Uh, target date. There are no reasonable, unreasonable goals, only unreasonable deadlines, and tip straighten me out on that. Take time embellishing your results of achieving the goals, your motivation to get things done. Okay, next piece of paper on the left-hand side are the obstacles of achieving your goal. I like to glance at my goal first. Because what happens before this step, because what happens is when you write down your goal, your mind automatically moves to why it can't happen. I don't know, that probably happened to all of us here. I'm sure it did. That when you, when you write down a goal, the first thing that comes up are all the reasons why it can't happen. So this is the area where we want to get out all of those obstacles. You really want to milk this. Sometimes I'll 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 list these obstacles, and again, you need at least six to eight here. Um, I list all of the obstacles, and then I walk away. Maybe I'll have lunch. Sometimes, if it's I'm doing it and I'm doing the exercise on some uh, on some goal at night, I'll go to sleep and wake up the next morning. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I'll wake up and an obstacle will pop into my head, and I'll write it down on my bedside pad. So. You want to get all the obstacles out. Um, you know, I mean, most people uh, that, that I've trained with this process come up with thoughts like, well, I, I just don't have really the money to, uh, to, to do what I want to do right now. I don't have really enough money to be trading enough to go ahead and, and uh, uh, be independent in the next 90 days or feel that I'm on my way. Uh, time is an issue. I don't get support at home. Uh, fear is another thing. I see uh, Williams talking about fear, self-doubt, lacking confidence in design, sticking. Go ahead and go ahead and throw those up there as you get them. Okay. Number one, number two, number three. Give me all of indecision. Michael's talking about um, inertia of failure. It's an interesting concept, and that's an interesting. It's an interesting uh, uh, phraseology. There is an inertia to failure. You get used to it. In fact, you get comfortable with failure um, because you're 
because it be, because you learn how to handle it, and therefore it becomes a comfortable thing. So failure becomes your M.O. You need to break those things. Uh, so go ahead, and, and rather than me sing, I'll I'll, I'll save Earl the uh, the luxury of me singing, and go ahead and and list all of the obstacles that come out that is stopping you from achieving that goal. Go ahead and list the obstacles. And I'll, I'll just grunt a few out of people. Lack of focus, very, very big obstacle. Greed. Melanie, don't look greedy, but yeah. Again, focus. Boy, Sam said focus again, and a number of you said focus. I found, for me, that when I focus on something, I'm, an, I'm a monster. I can get a lot done in a very short period of time if I just focus. If I, if I, you know, when I shut off CNBC and I focus on what I need to do, um, in fact, focus allows me to leave the screen and, uh, you know, do my, uh, set my stops, put in my targets if that's the process I'm running, and walk away instead of sitting there and rooting for it, a position. I, love to, I used to love to root. Uh, lack of knowledge, Beverly, excellent. Not accepting losses, another one. I mean, it's hard to accept losses, and it's when you can't accept losses, you uh, it's very hard to be a very successful trader in the long term. So obstacles, very important to get them out here. I'm just going to give you another minute to get them all out. Telephone interruptions, very interesting. Uh, you know. <laughs> Closing winners too soon, Michael Alford. We're going to be doing a thing uh, in the end of May, Michael, about getting the majority of trends, getting the majority of a trending move. You know, a lot of people say that uh, you only need, you know, just take just take your small section and, and uh, of a move and take your piece and leave the rest for everybody else. And, and and there is some wisdom to that if you have a system like that. But but um, we're going to be uh, demonstrating a process where. Um, the, the nature of the process is, is to grab the majority of a trending move. So uh, stay tuned for that. If, if um, Go ahead and uh, get on the discipline. If you go to the, disip, the disciplinedtrader.com, uh, you'll see a, an offer. You can get on our list and, and so, so get something free from us, and we'll, we'll tell you that. Okay. Too much Red Bull is uh, self-discipline. Okay, the important part of listing all of these obstacles is that the solution, the solution is, the obstacle has the raw materials for the solution. This is what you're going to realize. This was something that was taught to me by Dan Sullivan, the, the gentleman I mentioned earlier, that uh, the raw material for the, the your obstacles are, contain the raw materials, the solutions. Uh, for the raw materials for the solution of that obstacle. Um, <clears throat> let's recap, and, and uh, there's his direct quote. All those things that's, well, that well, seems to oppose your or your goals are actually the raw materials for achieving them. This is why Dan is Dan. He says it much better than I do. All the things that seem to oppose our goals are actually the raw materials for achieving them. Spend time with listing these objections, even to the point of waiting a day and going back to it. Okay? So, let's keep going here, because on the right-hand side of this same piece of paper, you want to put strategies, and you want to put your one, two, three, four aligned with the obstacles. Okay? So, the strategies are the solutions to the obstacles. See, what we've done is we've broken down all your resistances to bite-sized pieces. Okay, we mentioned focus. Well, you know, if focus is an issue for you, then you need to be more focused. You need to learn how to be more focused. How do you learn how to be more focused? You learn how to be more focused by training your mind, by, uh, by training your mind to stay focused and eliminate all the extraneous BS that surrounds you in your life, okay? And uh, for me, um, it's become a very easy task. It's the first thing I really learned. Uh, my wife's a hypnotist, and I guess that helps me out. I've learned how to breathe in, in and out, uh, and, and that's really what you need to do. You don't need to marry a hypnotist, but you need to take on a particular type 
uh, of subconscious training that works for you. Now, for, for me and for all of the people we train, we use a, a seven-minute mental training session, subconscious training, and, and really it's just an audio, a voice audio, and all we do is we breathe in and out a few times to get our, and relax, get ourselves into a light alpha brainwave state, and then play back this the recording that has uh, positive um, positive suggestions on I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. See, because you're not focused because, uh, you, because there are other, there's a dominant neural, path, neural net. Your subconscious mind is comprised of neural pathways and neural nets and when you, when you have enough neural pathways that carry the same message, it becomes a neural net. And you will respond and act, and your con which means your conscious mind, which makes decisions, makes decisions on what your subconscious mind believes is true for you. And what your subconscious mind believes is true for you is defined by your dominant neural net. Okay, so with the stimulus of, you know, I've got to sit down and do this, I've got to be focused, that's the stimulus. So then you begin to try to be focused and somehow you, you, you pick up the phone or you, you answer the, um, uh, the Skype or you, you, you glance over at Jim Cramer to take away from your focus. What's happening is that in each case, while you're focusing on what you want to focus on, what you know is good for your trading behavior, you get another stimulus like, the tea, like Jim Cramer yelling and your conscious mind who makes the decision says, Hey, should I listen to Jim Cramer and stop my focus or should I continue to focus? And your, your dominant neural pathways, which, which has formed a dominant neural net, has dominant thoughts for you like, I don't want to miss anything. Or last time I didn't look at something, I, I got hurt by that, so I can stop just for a second, I'll get back to it and, and, and come right back, I promise. This is the deal you make uh, to yourself. And this, be, this is, the, 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 your, you feel safety, this becomes what's good for you and true for you, it's a safe haven for you. So every time there's a stimulus, you don't want to miss that Skype call, you don't want to miss the special report on TV because two years ago you got, uh, you got diced by not listening to it. You're, you're running your decisions based on a neural net that is not serving you as a trader. That's your focus problem. What you need to do is retrain your mind so that your dominant behavior, your dominant belief will be something that serves you as a trader, that you remain totally focused on your trade when you're trading. Okay? And the way you do that is you relax yourself, get yourself into a light alpha brainwave state, and then submit suggestions to you. I'm a wise and disciplined trader. I remain focused because I know that focusing on my trading will maximize the execution of my trading plan. Whatever makes sense for you that, you, that, that put in your mind. And we've, we've uh, you know, the disciplined trader, we're all, this is what we're about. We're about helping you train your mind as well as helping you with your trading plan, et, et cetera, and risk management, et cetera. But, but really what we do very different, nobody else does, is, is really the crux of probably half of these obstacles that, that you've laid out. Fear, greed, focus, these are all mental and emotional issues that are easily solved if you know how. And, 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 and now you know how, which is get yourself, put yourself in line with training your mind through uh, repeating positive suggestions because every time you take a few deep breaths and you relax yourself, you, you, you put yourself in an alpha brainwave state and that is the state at which you can bypass the conscious mind which is always defending your dominant neural net. Okay? Uh, you, you, put that behind, you put that to the side and you can contribute direct suggestions in the form of these neural pathways directly to your subconscious mind. So if you take, our, say, our seven-minute training that has suggestions like I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. If you're taking the focus, there's a particular session on focus that we have. Focus, uh, I'm a focused trader and I'm, uh, I'm laser-like when it comes to running my trading plan. W whatever the suggestions are, you're now building those positive suggestions that serve you as a trader. If you just take that seven-minute session once a day for a couple of weeks, this is all it takes. You will build enough neural pathways to become a neural net 
and then um, and then when you get that stimulus about Jim Cramer yelling about something, you're going to say, that's just Jim Cramer yelling about something. It's really never served me. And, and it goes on, of course, in, in, in a split second in your mind. I'm a wise and disciplined trader. I, I remain here. I'm focused. Because now you, your conscious mind is making decisions based on a brand new dominant neural net. Now, the other neural net uh, exists, but now it's... But as you don't support that idea and don't feed that neural net with more neural pathways w with similar um, thoughts that don't serve you, you stop that. Now you're constructing what you're doing by uh, and what's in your mind by planning to, to take these positive suggestions and, uh, and, and creating positive neural nets or neural pathways to create those neural nets. So, um, that's the whole theory. So many of these obstacles, if it's fear, whatever, the strategy would be train my mind. Now, of course, you know we have the preeminent uh, way to do that, uh, but there may be others out there. I don't know of any that's really near what we do. Reading a book is not going to do it because your conscious mind is going to do it. L listening to um, you know somebody talk about it and motivate you, like a Tony Robbins, that that's great stuff, but. If you just listen to him without doing the exercises that he talks about, and he, he uses neuro-linguistic programming, which is a, another good way of doing it. Um, but you've got to state what you state to your, conscious mind, your subconscious mind in the best and most uh, uh, effective way. Uh, you can't use negatives. You want to use positives and so on. So we've done all that for you, or you can research that and do it yourself. But uh, back to the exercise. Um, I only went through that because many of what I saw were, were exercises of, of emotion. The strategy is to take the training and train your mind, okay? Um, let's see, give me some, some other problem that you had in obstacles, and I'll give you a, a sample strategy that you can put here, okay? Because you want to list these solutions to the obstacles. You want to you list these right now. And so give me another, uh, something that you put down, uh, becoming too emotional. Well, that's, again, a mental and emotional thing. We've gone through it. Lack of money. Okay, Miguel, good one. Lack of money. So lack of money was an obstacle. So what are some strategies that could... Um, that, that could alleviate lack of money. Uh, can anybody give any, uh, uh, can anybody give, I got something for you, Roger. Can anybody give us any suggestions on the strategies? Remember, the raw material is, is in the obstacle. Lack of money. Well, why do you have a lack of money? Do you, do you spend on things that you shouldn't be spending on? Can you stop spending on certain things and, and spend on the right things, which is bulking up your account? Um, Pay yourself first. I think uh, certainly uh, Micah uh, brings up a good point. Sometimes the attitude of what you do with your money, if you're not deserving, if you don't trust yourself as a trader, you're going to put money someplace else. But, but, but for, for me at least, when I, when I want to make more money, I, I bulk up my trading account so that I can take on more positions because I know that's going to result. But that happens after you've had some success over the, uh, over the months and years. Okay, so more money could be a part-time, getting, getting a part-time job, could be, um, you know, reassessing what you have and maybe selling some things. You know, my garage is full of stuff. There's probably $10,000 worth of saleable stuff in my garage. So think of, of, think of how you can make money. Rather than, now that you've stated the obstacle of no money, think of some of the things that you can um, create money with. So... Um, but I, I saw somebody that had the obstacle of, uh, of no family support. Here's something that seems to work. I suggested this about a year ago, and it worked very well for the person I suggest, and now it seems to be working for everybody that I suggest to. If you have some, now, lack of, lack of support, for family support, is usually a result of you having lost a few times. Talking about how, how the potential of all of this and how it's going to save everything or really add to everything that you're doing and all of a sudden you just lose the increment of, that you started your account with. And, and then you do it again. After one or two times, uh, the people stop, stop believing you. Well, you know, you, and, and, and so they should to some degree because you need, to, you need to get it together. And the way you get it together is to have a solid trading plan with the right risk management and to train your mind on a daily basis to, to, to run that plan with confidence, without wavering. That's the only way to do this. It's the only way to be successful. So what you need to do with your, which, with, with, with your significant other 
um, the one that whoever's not giving you the support is to say, look, I know that, that you know, I came with more energy than I did with technique and process. I'm doing it differently this time. I'm, co I'm developing the process and technique up front. I'm, I'm, I'm making sure that works, you know, in, in the fictitious world until I, and now I'm, and when I apply it, it's only a matter of applying it the way it's laid out to be applied. And I'm going to, so if you give me six months, I want to take this amount of money and I, I, and I want to check in with you in six months to see whether, now if your account didn't last more than six months the first time, maybe you want to make it three months so that, so that the process is more believable. In six months, in, in six months or three months, whatever process, whatever length of time you set, I want to, I want to, uh, you and I will sit down and talk again uh, and I'll report to you on how, on uh, specifically how everything's going. And every 30 days, I'll give you some short updates on what's going on and let you know uh, how I'm doing. But I, 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 this time I'll be accountable to you. It'll help me to stay on track with my system and it'll allow you to be more comfortable with the fact that I really can do this. I know I can do this. I just need, I want to be, I'll be accountable to you this time because accountability is going to help me. Uh, and, and, and that accountability is going to lead me to follow my trading plan, not like I've done the, the last few times. I've always had a good plan, but now, so whatever, whatever part of that works for you. I mean, you may not have had a trading plan and now you need to have a trading plan, so you can't say, I have a great trading plan. But what you want to do is make a deal to, to, ch to where you're going to, where the, the Toll is going to be taken, the, uh, you're going to decide whether to continue at a, at a point six months out, and you're going to give reviews along the way. This way you're going to get support. When you bring them into your team um, and you admit the wrongdoings of the past, then you're going to see that you're going to have a solid friend on your side. So go ahead and try that. Um, I think that's going to work for you. Um, here's somebody with an opposite problem. What is that? Full, full trust and faith by spout, but, con but continued failure causing overwhelming guilt and pain. Yeah, well, um, you know, that's, that, that's an issue. That's, 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 a gr that's a big issue because you, you cannot trade with guilt. You cannot trade. That's another form of fear. You need to train your mind. You need to get confidence. You need to know that you can do this. Look, there's a lot of people that are a lot less intelligent than you, and I'm not even looking at it. It could be anybody on this thing. You know, there are, very, there are people who, you know, there, there, there are people who don't score high on, on, on any of the intelligence tests that are just doing very well making money online because maybe they're just, uh, maybe they're too stupid to do anything but follow their trading plan. Well, you've got to be that stupid too. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm being facetious here, but maybe they, you know, they can only focus on one thing at a time and maybe that works for them in training. But I'm saying that you have the ability to do this. You just have to get out of your own way. And to get out of your own way means doing a process like we're doing and being real with this process and really taking it seriously. List the obstacles and then take each one step by step and go ahead and, and turn around these obstacles and make them and, and, and state your solutions. You know you can solve this. You're, you know, others are solving it. Why not you? There are plenty of people who started this with no money. That's the way every success story I ever read started. I had nothing. I was, you know, I was, uh, was in the poor house and they were, they, were, they were throwing me out of there and I was living here and I got nothing and then all of a sudden I, you know, I took, uh, I got my friend to loan me $2,000 and I went ahead and did this and now I'm, now I'm making a million dollars a month. You know, I mean every, so that's not an excuse, no money. We all started with no money. So go ahead and, or most of us, uh, go ahead and, and find out and, and build a solution for you and put it in this strategy uh, portion right here. Okay, so let's move on because we, we want to get up to the, to the wrap up. Here is the final page. Here's the, you're going to take this now landscape. Okay, are you having fun with this? Uh, it, it, does this sound like it could work for you? Because it's worked for a lot of people. Uh, does that sound like Brenda says yes? Because this, what I'm showing you right here, it puts it all together. Okay, John, Chuck, here's what you do. From your other list, let's take a second. From the other page, the first column here is strategy. So just write a bunch of uh, lines down the middle of the, of the page. Put your titles in strategy, who, deadline, milestone one, two, and three. And I'll explain what a milestone is in a second. Okay, strategies. 
the, you want to just repeat what you put in there uh, on the last sheet. One, two, three, four, five, six, minimum seven, eight, and and more if you were, if you, if you really milk yourself. Throw in the strategies here. Okay, train your mind. Uh, make a deal. Make a contract with my significant other. Okay, Wh whatever whatever it is, whatever your strategies are, whatever your, the solutions to the obstacles. These are your strategies because the truth is, if you can get out of your own way, if you can take care of those obstacles, you're going to wind up with what? Yourself being a successful trader. Okay, get out of your own way. You're all good enough to do this. Okay, and you're all smart enough to do this. Okay, and you're all cool enough to do this. It's very cool to be a successful trader. Okay, so put in your strategies. Okay, put in your strategies vertically. Now the next says who. Sometimes it's best to delegate. I know I left this who column in. This is remember this was an entrepreneurial exercise, growing our businesses and so on. Uh, this was this was originally presented as an entrepreneurial exercise for me, um, and or to me, and 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 it was, it was strategies about the building my business, and, and I could delegate to others. But it works the same way here. If you can delegate. The, the, the accomplishment of the strategy to somebody else or something else, that's, you want to do that. You want to, you want to take as much, you want to work on the strategies that you need to work on and let others work on the strategies for you that, that serve you also. So in, in the case of all, all the mental, you know, the you, lack, of, uh, uh, lack of confidence, uh, fearful, greed, focus, you know, the strategies who may very well be me. Okay, Norman, me and Norman are going to do this. Now the deadline is, I'm going to take a look at, I'm excited now, I'm going to take a look at it this weekend. I'm going to go to the disciplinetrader.com and I'm going to uh, check out the, their mastery kit. Okay, so you, but, I, and I, but I have a lot to do. So you put the deadline as, um, uh, well, you put, the dead, you, you put the deadline as three months. In other words, you want to be totally focused after three months, or you want to be, overcome your fear after three months, whatever, whatever the strategy is, the, whatever you're using the strategy for. Now, milestone one, okay, is going to be the first measure of success executing that strategy. In other words, the first measure would be to take a look at the material. If, if you're considering the mastery kit, it would be there. Uh, my, milestone one, and you've got to set a deadline with each of these milestones. Sunday, so tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going by Sunday midnight. I'm going to inspect and decide on whether uh, the Discipline Trader Mastery Kit is 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 the way is what I'm going to do uh, to get that mind training done. Okay, milestone two would be the. Uh, you know, milestone one would be the review. Milestone two would be the purchase. So by Monday midnight, you want to uh, you you want to make your move. You want to commit to something that's going to train your mind. Okay. So milestone one would be uh, would be inspect all solutions. Milestone two um, to training my mind. Milestone two would be to, to make a decision. A milestone three would be uh, 30 days out. Um, or t two weeks out, uh, where you would um, where you would measure progress, uh, uh, have it n now that you're training your mind, and ha whether you feel you started from a one to ten, and now you're at a five, you, you want to be at least five to ten. So you want to you want to create milestones to stay accountable to the process because that deadline of 90 days needs to be met, and so the milestone four would be um, if the 60 days milestone five. Uh, would be the 90 days where where you're now fully your mind is fully integrated with the dominant behavioral thoughts you've built into pathways because you've done your mental trainings on a consistent basis. Okay, so that, so strategies, who's going to help you, the deadline, and then the milestones, the accountability uh, points, the checkpoints of getting to where you want to go by your deadline. Okay, so list your strategies here. Okay, uh, contract with, you know, the, the make a contract with my significant other, who myself and my wife and myself and my brother, whoever's giving me that hard time. Deadline to do it would be, you know, uh, Monday noon, where you're going to, uh, milestone one would be to write up the contract. You're going to write a contract that, uh, that, that you're going to sign and give them a copy. Milestone two is Tuesday, where you're going to present uh, it with your, well, milestone one would be writing the copy and making an appointment with your spouse or or whoever it is uh, to meet at 12 12 o'clock on Tuesday. Milestone two would be 
presenting the contract and getting their agreement that they'll support based on that. So you both sign the contract. Milestone three is that um, after six months, you know, maybe your deadline is that six months we talked about. So you can arrange this to what's comfortable for you, but you want to put yourself in a noose here. You want to make this happen because how many times have you, have you said to yourself, I'm going to change that and didn't get around to changing it because you let yourself out of it. The more you can set these milestones to be specific, and not only specific date, but specific action and specific measure, the more you'll be able to meet the goal by the deadline. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Does that make sense to anybody? Okay, Alicia, makes sense. Okay, um, I'm going to get to, since we're, we're, we're almost, uh, we've got about four or five minutes left as I see it. Let me give you the summary. You want to state a clear goal. Then I'll take a few questions. State a clear goal. Remember, that's important up front. The clearer the goal, the better off you're going to be. State it in a positive way and, and make it real for you, something that you really want. you got to put in today's date. People who skip that step wonder why it didn't work for them. You need to draw a line in the sand. That's today's date. Set your completion date. And, it's, uh, and, and uh, there are no bad deadlines. Oh, help me, please. Uh, Help me, Pip. There are no unusual, unreasonable deadlines, only unreasonable. There are no reasonable. How is that? How does that work? Can somebody help me? Were you listening? I don't know why I can't. Please show the slide before the three. Yes, I will. Um, but set a, set a completion date, one that makes sense to you. Um, list the results of achieving your goals. Again, milk those results. And you want to place yourself out in the future and look back at what, all the great things that are happening. It makes it much more real for you. Because it can be you. It should be you. You deserve this. So make, make your bold, achievable goals and, and make them true for you, okay? And, and, and it's going to be your motivation as you keep coming back to the sheet, okay? List your obstacles. And you, again, you want to get those out because the, we, you, when you skip the obstacles, when you do the obstacles too quickly, what you're doing is your mind is tricking you into not exposing one or two of the obstacles to make it okay for you not to succeed. So get out all the obstacles. Then brainstorm the strategies to overcome the obstacles. If you can't get a strategy yourself, if you can't, then search the internet for, for, for the answer or talk to somebody that you trust to give, them, give you the, uh, the strategy for the obstacle. Relist your strategies on the strategies completion sheet that we talked about that on the left-hand column. So you take the right-hand column from one sheet, put it on the left-hand column of the comp strategy completion sheet and decide who's responsible, if you can delegate, and then each strategy and milestone, and then achieve your goal. Okay, make, make those milestones significant. I'm gonna, I am going to go back to that, uh, that, that other slide so that you can see this. It was a, a request, so we're going to leave that up. All right, uh, let's um, slide of Dan Sullivan. Uh, any relation to Mark Douglas, author of The Discipline Trader? No, no relation to Mark Douglas. It's a good book, another good book on trading discipline. Uh, but the reason that I developed The Discipline Trader is because Books don't work. <laughs> I mean, you have all these books out there, and yet still 90% of traders are losing. And do they ever wonder why 90% of, of people pay zero attention to trading discipline and, and training their mind and working with their psyche about trading and, making, and, 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 and keeping a very positive self conditioning for, for, as a positive trader? I mean, you ever wonder why only less than 10% of the people do that and have no respect for it? They do nothing. And, and also the same figure where 10% of, of traders are, are either holding their ground or winning. I mean, the winning traders are actually less than that. Why is that? Because, because you're not paying attention to trading discipline more than anything else. So, yes, I, that, that's, why, that's why we developed the Discipline Trader Mastery Kit. Is there a personality test that we can take to find out the best trading style for our motion makeup? That's an excellent question. Who said that, Ed? Ed, there is a, there is a test that I like. It's called... It is called, um, oh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it's, they rate you in four numbers. It's got to come to my mind. Uh, the Colby test, K-O-L-B-E, okay? K-O-L-B-E. Now, it, 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 it tells you if you're a hands-on type of a person, if you're a, and, and not just personality test. This is something that, that really goes deeper than that, so I really like it. There's another one called, uh, 
it's called the, it's been on the bestseller list for a number of years. It's it's in the 2.0 version. Anybody know that little book I'm talking about? But the the um, the idea of Colby is you can answer about 35 questions, and it'll tell you the depth, you know, really what you what you're about. And for me, that third number, it's called Quick Start. The people with a high third number are make very good. We're quick on making decisions, and you know, we we tend not to look back. We we're always moving forward, but we can be scattered. And it's good to have an organizational type person with us. High, I'm a nine when it comes to the the third number, the Quick Start number. So. I have to have a system that I can I can execute quickly and, and get away from. Otherwise, I can't sit there and root for my position. This is what a, a, a person does that needs the action. You sit there and root for the position, and then you start making up stories to yourself. Well, what if this happens, or what if that happens? And, and you start unwinding your own system in your own head. Instead of focusing, you, you try to get on to the next idea. So my trading system is an execute and leave type of a trading system. So Ed, that could be the best question that I've gotten in probably a week. Uh, so, Ed, I'm, I'm going to give you a discipline trader hat, H-A-T, a, a very, uh, a, and when you go to the disciplinetrader.com, if you look at our store, you'll see the hat there. I'm going to send you a hat, Ed, uh, for asking me that question. Uh, just email me at nhallett, uh, I'll, I'll try to write it in here, nhallett, nhallett at the disciplinetrader.com. I'm writing it in. Quick starts can't do two things at once. Um, okay, I, I, that should be up to you. Uh, and how to the discipline .com. I'll get and I'll get you that hat, Ed. You deserve that's a great question. Okay, everybody, listen, I, I think our time is up or it's getting to that. Maybe cut me off when you need to, uh, but I'll take questions until you do. Let's see. Thank you, Gail. Did you find it helpful? Appreciate it. Uh, use this. You know, when I first heard this strategy, uh, it was used, uh, one of the attendants of the same uh, class that I go to every quarter, he used it with his son who wanted a car. He says, well, do, do, the, do this. Uh, so what he did was he, you know, what, what was the goal? I, I, want a car, I want a car so I can take my girlfriend out to, you know, at, to the football game or whatever. You know, I don't have an enlisting of and all the good things will happen. She's going to love me uh, and all the other crazy good stuff that happens when you got a great girlfriend in high school. And then, he, he, what are the obstacles? I don't have any money. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't have any time because I'm doing all the extra. And then maybe dad will help me with the, yeah, my uncle will do this. Uh, getting the strategies, listing the strategies, who's going to help. And within six months, the kid had his car. So this is a process that could be used for anything, okay? Survival Club, great book. Test at the end. That's a good one. Um, thanks, Norman. A good class. Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> I think I rambled in the beginning. I saw somebody say, it's rambling. You're rambling goodbye. So hopefully they're, they're going to get this on the replay since I ended big. Thanks for the great presentation. Thank you, Earl. And thanks for stopping me from singing. I think that helped everybody. Great webinar. Thanks, Brock. Any other questions about the process? Oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, can you go back to the summary screen? Yes, I will. Let's go back to the summary screen. That's a good one. Oh, and I even have my uh, DisciplineTrader.com. Get on the list. Hey, if you didn't see me interviewing Trump and, uh, and Obama today, uh, I did the, actually, the, the live interview was last night, but uh, you've you got to see this interview. I mean, these guys are crazy good, and they're both traders. You probably didn't know that. And, um, and because I gave a big uh, contribution to Obama and hate me, go ahead and hate me for that, you're going to um, you're going to see him mention that on the on the interview. So um, yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. it's all in good fun. But try it. Uh, yes, Obama is a traitor. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. But I I knew that from my time in Chicago. Uh, oh, there it is. Somebody put it up. Who did that? Si oh, that's Fausto. Fausto is the geekiest, good-looking guy I know. All right. All right. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hand it over to you, and I want to thank everybody for uh, for spending some time with me. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, and uh, remember, also, I got another whole presentation on taking a day off from trading. To the, to, after this is done or tomorrow, just don't do anything about it. Don't even read a book. You need to rest your mind. Another good strategy. All right, everybody. Thank you, and um, talk to you soon. Disciplinetrader.com. Be well. Norman Howlett, everyone, let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Norman, for coming. <clears throat> Let, let's, give let's give Norman a round of applause, everybody.
There you go. Thank you very much. Clap, clap, clap. There you go. I got to get that little uh, plug in to play that uh, when 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 you're in the uh, in the audience and they show you clap and all that. I have to do that for you. But uh, but once again, Norman had a good, very very good friend of mine. Like I said, not even a very good friend, but also a very very good mentor when it comes to the discipline of trading in the markets. And it's always fun to have him. And I know that a lot of you know him very well. And uh, thanks for his, you know for, for and he also contribute uh, for a lot of you to be here today to hear all those great speakers to all educate you all about trading. Once again, um, we are going to be able to email all of you. If anyone is interested in the PowerPoint or any of the slides, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a, a little right here, support at ctutrading. Dot com. Just going to put it right on the top right there. Just email us uh, right now and uh, please tell us which ones you'd like to have and we will have it up and running for you. And also let you know that we will have a custom page for all of you that have registered. Uh, if anyone would like to review this recording or if any of you would like to uh, run a part of the promotions that they're offering, we are going to give all of you access to uh, click on those links. Once again, been a lot of content that we're covering in, uh, even though it is a long, long day, there's a lot of great content that you guys want to review the recordings or the topics that they're giving or the slideshows. Make sure that all of you do get it. Register today at www.cybertradinguniversity.com or call 877-70-CYBER 